Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 Virtual Veterans Day Assembly. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the fighting of World War I ended in 1918. And now we recognize today as a remembrance to all veterans who put their lives on the line for us. Now please silence your phones and stand up as choir sings the national anthem. And now, the band is playing the medley of the armed services while we see a presentation on the veterans in our community.
Thanks again to the band for their great performance. At this time, we would like to introduce a veteran who is special to one of our staff members here at PHS. His name is William Young, and he is the father to Mrs. Ledesma. He served in the U.S. Navy from 1945 to 1949, and he would like to share a few words with you, Mustangs. Hi, my name is William J. Young. Uh, at 17, I joined the U.S. Navy and I served from 1944 to 1948. Uh, one of the questions are, how has your life been impacted from your service? And all I can say is, I appreciate when someone stops me and says, uh, thank you for your service. And uh, it's kind of touching. I, I feel like, uh, yes, I was in the service and I, had a good experience being in the service. No regrets. In fact, I sort of recommend your consideration for possibly looking into it when you graduate high school, okay? So the next question is, what did you learn from your military experience? And all I can say is discipline. In other words, you uh, start a project or a job and you finish what you start and uh, don't leave any stone unturned. Whereas uh, in my earlier age, I would start a project and I'd never finish it. But being in the service, I learned you finish what you start. For example, I inspected an airplane and I wouldn't go away from the job of inspection until I finished doing what I had to do. I had a little checklist and you should do that for, for things that you have in your life. A checklist is a very good way to get something done. How has serving in the military shaped you as a person? Well, it made me appreciate all that my country has to offer and that uh, you can accomplish whatever goal you set for yourself. Like in my case, I, I was uh, learning aviation mechanics from the Navy. And when I got out of the service, I went to college and got my aeronautical engineering degree, which I never could afford, but the service experience paid for it under the GI Bill. And I recommend that you give that some consideration to whatever branch of service you might think is worthy of your time and experience. Thank you, William Young, for taking the time to say a few words. Your years of service are greatly honored and appreciated here at PHS. As we honor our veterans today, we cannot forget the ones among us. We have multiple staff members here at PHS who served our country, and we would like to take a moment to highlight those staff. students to talk about what Veterans Day means to them and how they honor and appreciate our veterans. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Jacob Bagnall. Uh, my name is Tyler Case. My name is Gretchen Powers. I am Kyler Farron. My name is David Hudak. My name is Nahaley. My name is Logan. <laughs> what does Veterans Day mean to you? Um, veterans Day to me uh, means a lot because I have a lot of family members that were in the service. Uh, from grandparents, uncles, my mom was in the National Guard, so uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, to me, Veterans Day is a day to honor and appreciate those who served our country. Uh, it's important to me because my country is important to me. Uh, 
and these people aided in protecting or serving this country. And I have high respect and appreciation for those people. Uh, Veterans Day means it's like a day where we honor our veterans because without our veterans we couldn't have freedoms that we have today. Um, a day to remember the ones that passed that way in the military or that were once in the military. What Veterans Day means to me is that it is a celebration of not just the people who have been in our military and died for us and our freedoms, but also a celebration of all of the current military members fighting and just working for our betterment as a country. The way of honoring our vets is by shaking their hands, standing up and honoring their hard work and dedication because they are here today and to even our fallen down military vets. How do you honor and appreciate our veterans? Well, obviously you honor and appreciate our veterans by Veterans Day, but there's many other ways to honor and appreciate them, like putting the flags out and just having our assembly is a great way to honor our veterans. I honor and appreciate our veterans by not only thanking them for their, for their service, but also by going to Veterans Day parades and other things that are showing appreciation for our veterans. So every Veterans Day, uh, I always um, send texts or I'll call my family members that uh, were in the service or are still in the service and then um, just to say thank you. And then uh, usually I'll go out and find uh, veterans that are in my uh, city or wherever I am. And I'll do something nice for them, whether it's like, yeah, you know, if it's a homeless vet, I'll get them like a blanket or something like that. And, just try to help out however I can. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for taking the time to honor our veterans and coming to our assembly. This means a lot to not only us, but those who have fallen in service or served. We appreciate the dedication and time our veterans have put towards our country and our freedoms. Thank you, veterans. Just a reminder, tomorrow is our annual Veterans Day Parade, starting at 11 a.m., beginning and ending at the city park.